Welcome to Physics Essentials. Today our focus is on physical quantities and their units. So let's get right into it. What is a physical quantity? A physical quantity is simply the property of a material or substance that can be measured. Basically, a quantity is anything that can be measured. For example, the mass of an apple, the length of a pencil, the speed of a car, and the density of a wooden block. All of those are physical quantities. When you're taking the measurements for physical quantities, you want to ensure that your measurements include both a magnitude as well as a unit. For example, the length of this pencil is 12 centimeters. 12 would be the magnitude and centimeters, of course, would be the unit. So now we're going to take a look at units specifically. In physics, we utilize the International System of Units, otherwise known as SI units. Now, what is the International System of Units? This is a system of measurements that has been agreed upon internationally. It means that these set of units are the same. And they can be reproduced very accurately around the world. And a unit is simply a standard by which something is measured. For example, the kilogram, meter, a mole, and seconds. Those are SI units for certain quantities that we're going to look at shortly. So there are two main types of physical quantities. We have fundamental quantities and derived quantities. And we're going to look at derived quantities. Now what is a fundamental quantity? A fundamental quantity is simply a quantity that is independent of other physical quantities. It is also known as a base quantity. But what do we mean when we say that fundamental quantities are independent of other physical quantities? It means that we cannot express fundamental quantities using other physical quantities. They are the basic or base quantities. There are seven as shown in this table, so we have length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. The SI units are shown also in the table, so the SI unit for length is meter, the SI unit for mass is kilogram, the SI unit for time, seconds, the SI unit for electric current is amperes, and the SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. You're also seeing in the table the symbol for each of the SI units. Please know that these are the symbols for the SI units and not the symbols for the quantities. Now we're going to look at so now we're going to look at derived quantity. A derived quantity is a quantity that is dependent on fundamental quantities or other physical quantities. So they can be dependent on fundamental quantities or other derived quantities. So the first example we're going to look at is speed. Speed is a derived quantity because it is dependent on distance as well as time. So we can express speed in terms of distance and time. Or we calculate speed in terms of using distance divided by time. Similarly, we have force. So force is another derived quantity because it can be expressed using mass times acceleration. The SI unit for mass is kilograms and the SI unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. And therefore we would get the unit kilogram meters per second squared. So this is the derived unit for force and meters per second would be the derived unit for speed. Please note that these are also the SI units for these derived quantities. Now we're going to look at some other derived quantities. 
So the table shows some other derived quantities as well as their unit. Area is a derived quantity, likewise volume, density, velocity, momentum, acceleration, force, pressure, and energy or work. So these are all derived quantities. There are other derived quantities, but these are the main ones. You're seeing the expression or the formula to calculate these physical quantities. So area is length times breadth or length times width. Volume is area times height. And you're seeing the SI units. For area is meters squared. For volume is meters cubed. For density is mass divided by volume. So the SI unit is kilogram per meter cube. Velocity is calculated using this formula. Displacement divided by time. And the SI unit is meters per second. Momentum is calculated using mass times velocity. And therefore, we'll get the SI unit to be in kilogram meter per second. Acceleration has the unit meters per second squared. Force as the derived unit kilogram meter per second squared or newton. So you'll commonly see a capital N. It represents newton. For pressure, it's force divided by area, where the SI unit for force is newton, and the SI unit for area is meter squared. So we'll just get newton per meter squared, or pascal. The unit for energy, is newton meter or joules so you'll more commonly see joules for energy and pascal for pressure and capital n for newton that will be all for today i hope you guys learned something so just to recap there are two types of physical quantities we have derived quantities and fundamental quantities derived quantities they are dependent on other physical quantities whilst fundamental quantities are independent of other physical quantities thank you so much for watching